fans of science fiction miniatures, dwarves in space, and battle robots, thank you very much for joining me for an out-of-the-pack review of something very interesting that I picked up at the Salute 2018 game show that I went to last weekend. The great thing about going to a game show is you get to see stuff that you normally miss. And Salute is the biggest game show in the UK, certainly war game show. Obviously you've got the Gaming Expo in Birmingham, which is a wider remit than war gaming. But South London Warlords Salute is the biggest for war gaming. They went along and I found some really interesting miniatures. One of which is this thing. And this is the HBR, the Heavy Battle Robot. And this model has been sculpted by Gaidran Miniatures Studio. They've got very interesting range of dwarves and other robots and what have you. Anyone who remembers the squats in 40k will see something like this lady here and think, ooh, space dwarves, squats, awesome. And this is a company flyer. And this is the built up version of the HBR that we're going to be taking a look in this review. So yeah, there's details about their website. I had a chat with the guy, oh, they've got a Kickstarter on the go as well. And there's some more dwarves, Oop, dwarves in space there, dwarg. And had a chat with a guy who is the sculptor. And yeah, it's quite interesting. Got a background in model making and puppetry of all things, but has also turned his hand very effectively to miniature sculpting. So we've got the HBR, and then I also got given this guy, thrown in this as a freebie. I can't remember what this was, but I know what it is. So we will also take a look at that. What we're going to do in this review is we're going to take these miniatures out of the packets. We're going to look at them and see what we like and see what the quality of the casting and production is as well. So let's start with the HBR. Now there's one thing that instantly caught my attention with this. Well, two things. Firstly, the design. And well, you know what I'm like, I like robots. And I saw this and I thought, yeah, this could be in the Mechanicum easily. It's also just a lovely figure. But when I actually looked at the pack, what then also caught my attention was the fact that it is clearly in a huge number of parts, which tells me this is going to be very multiposable. So let's see if we can get into this pack. Ah, there we go. A little bit there about the model and the business and ooh, a little bit more as well. That's very nice. Yeah, there you go, check them out. I'll leave links in the description to the website for Gaidron Miniatures and the HBR, the Heavy Battle Robot. As you probably already noticed, this is a mixed metal and resin kit. It comes with a 40 millimeter base and a whole host of parts. Goodness me, look at all these. Flip. Blimey, okay, there's more than I thought. Sheesh. All right, well, let's start by looking at the torso, the main torso uh, to the HBR. So I've got this big, chunky, barrel-chested robot. Front of it, it looks like it's been up-armoured with this extra armour plate that's been placed on it. Do like that. It's a number nine. This feels nice and crisp, nice and clean. A little bit of mold seam to clean up on the way around. I don't think in there you need to worry too much, but just little bits to take off around it. But that's a very nicely cast part. That looks really good. All the gates are clipped off. So yes, very nice overall. Do like that. Right, let's move on. We've got a loose component here. It's gonna be a broken component if I keep that up. Ah, this is the head. So it's got this, uh, got quite a distinctive style to it. When I was talking to the guy, he said his style was diesel punk. So 1920s, but also influenced by anime. So there you go, make of that what you will. Diesel punk, that was new to me. A little bit of a, a little bit of a seam to clean up around the optic. Otherwise that looks nice. I right, know where do we start? Gosh, there's, uh, there's so many parts to this, blimey. There's no instructions, so I think there's a bit of work to do to figure out how to build this. Well, let's start with the bits that I can deduce easily. And we've got two lower legs. That's not bad, but a bit of a 
key, there's a gate to take away there and a bit of clean up to do. That's nice. Maybe we could start setting the parts out as it's going to assemble. We've got this one, another one, a bit more clean up to do there and a fairly hefty seam to clean off there, but okay, that'll be okay. That's fine. So those are the two lower legs and this is a waist. Got a big old mold seam running across there. That's a, that's a slip that. See the mold has slipped this way, uh, this way even. So that's going to take a bit of clean up, probably some chisel work. I'll we'll have to see if we're going to get all that out around that fine detailing. Mm, more than more work than I'd like to do, but I think it should work out okay then. Gosh, what are these little bits here? I think we've got some feet, haven't we? Ah, okay, right. Now it's making sense now. It's not as complicated as I thought. We've got two upper legs, one there and one there. That's spot on that one here. We've got a mold seam to clean off again. And those are the upper legs, so they're going to go there and there. And then we get four feet. So we get two flat feet and then two feet goes on his, the balls of its foot. His, I don't know, it's a robot, isn't it? Let's have a look in this packet of components. So I think what I have here are two shoulder pauldrons, which are these two. Oops, there you go, come back here, you. Yeah, they look good. And then, so these are the forearms. Not bad. More mold seems to clean off. There and there. I think we've got a lower, we've got an under shoulder. This is the actual shoulder. Two there. Again, got some quite noticeable mold seems to clean up. Well, slips actually here. Probably won't matter so much on this part because it's going to be covered by the outer pauldron. And then these are the upper arms, I think. I think they are. They look, are these are the upper or the lower arms. You know, I'm not entirely sure yet. Yeah, I'm really not quite sure. Mold slip there. That's a big, and big mold slip there. So that's going to need. I think I'll probably need some filling work to put that right. Got those. Um, one more bag of resin components, and then we'll move on to the metal parts. So we've got two fists, an open fist and a closed fist, and that's on the left-hand side of the robot. And then we have the weapon that's held in the right-hand side, and I don't know what this is. It looks like a blaster with a big drum magazine on it. <laughs> nice and chunky design, I do like that. Cool. That just leaves us with If there's any noise in the background, it's due to hamsters, so sorry about that. And then we've got a series of joints out. Oh my gosh. I think that might be, oh, that's a spotlight, which I think is going to mount on here, like that. So that'll need a pin. And then we have the shoulder cannon. And so I think what we've got is two mounting brackets, and, or two pivots, and then a gimbal which um, this is going to go on here, I think. And then this can is going to attach to that. I'm not entirely sure, to be quite honest. The metal parts look nicely done. Good. And that's all the parts of the HBR. Now let's look at the little robo that got us a freebie. So this thing, I mean, basically, it's kind of like this robot that moves around on this metal sphere in place of a wheel. comes with two little arms, which are going to go into these ball joints. Yeah, somehow. This, I don't, it's a funny little thing, this. As I said, I was giving it for free. Looks mm. quite, oh, uh, maybe that's actually just flash. Oh, quite a bit of cleanup to do around there, but, and another mold sl slip to sort out, and some more flash. 
This robot just made me think of something from, I don't know, paranoia or sort of pulpy 60s or you know, 50s, 60s type science fiction. There's a little base and then these two arms as well. It's got a pair of kind of like snipper hands there and some sort of hmm, photonic blaster maybe. So there you have it, the HBR by Gaidron Miniatures. Very intriguing looking model, quite a fascinating design. I do really like the multiposable nature of the model and on such a small figure, that's unusual to see. And it does put me in mind of, you know, the sort of way, say, the Contempt Dreadnought was made, the Forge World one, in terms of all the posability. When I get this together and do a final review, I'll tell you how I found sorting those bits out. But nonetheless, a fascinating model, and I'm definitely looking forward to building it. So there you are, something different. The HBR by Gaidron Miniatures. Please share your thoughts and observations in the comments. Have you purchased any models from Gaidron? And if so, how have you found them? You know, do you have any collections? Be very interested to hear, as always. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time, and goodbye.